Special thanks to industry leaders, Parts Canada, and Drag Specialties. We support the sport. Metzler ME880 Marathon, what biker TV rides on. Dealey Harley-Davidson Canada. Welcome to Biker TV, by bikers, for bikers. This week on Biker TV, we're at the Mossport International Raceway for the Parts Canada Superbike Series. But first, Tech Tips with Wally. Welcome to Biker TV Tech Tips. This week we're going to have a look at tires. Your life could depend on them. If you ever notice when you look at a tire, there's more writing on the side of these things and they might be in a small novel. Let's try and figure out what all that stuff means. If we look right on this part of the tire, we'll see it says rear fitment only. Believe it or not, tires are not made for the front or the rear to fit both for the mo in most cases. This particular tire we have here is for rear fitment only. You don't want to put this on the front of your motorcycle. The next little bit of information we're gonna have a look at is, is could be useful to you. It's the date, uh, it's the oval date code. In this case, it says 3204, which means it was built in the 32nd week of 2004. Now, why would that be useful to you? Well, if you look at a tire date code, you can tell how old the tire is before you, or how long it's been sitting on a shelf, or how old it is before you actually are getting it. Now, Harley-Davidson recommends six years on a tire. So if you uh, had a date code on your tire, maybe you've had a tire that's been sitting in your, in your garage for a number of years. If that tire is uh, over six years old, you might want to think twice about putting it before you put it on your motorcycle. The next little bit of information we see on the tire says tubeless on tube rim fit tube. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that this is a tubeless tire. So if you fit it on a tubeless wheel, you don't put a tube in it. But if you put it on a wheel, say a spoked wheel, that's a tube type wheel, you have to put a tube in the tire or it's not gonna hold air. You know, a tubeless tire, uh, the way it's constructed, it's tested to hold air. A, a tube type tire or a tube type wheel um, has spokes and you're gonna leak air around the spokes. Okay, the next uh, set of numbers we're gonna look at will be of use to you. 160 70B 17MC 73V. You got that? Yeah, it's a lot of numbers, isn't it? Let's break them down and have a look at them one by one. The first set of numbers we talked about is 160. Now, what does the 160 mean? Well, the 160 in this case means the width of the tire in millimeters. So this particular tire is, a, is 160 millimeters wide. The second set of numbers that I was talking about is the 70. Now what does the 70 mean? That's the aspect ratio of the tire. What's the aspect ratio? The aspect ratio means that this tire is 70% as high as it is wide. Okay, now let's have a look at the 17. What does that mean? The 17 is actually the diameter of this tire in inches. I know, the width is in, in millimeters and the, and the diameter is in inches. That's the way this particular uh, numbering system is. Uh, the first part says the maximum load, 805 pounds at 42 PSI. Uh, when we were looking at the load index, we said it was 805 pounds. What that means is that this tire will carry 805 pounds when it's inflated to 42 PSI. Now, that 42 PSI doesn't mean that's how much you put in your tire. That means the maximum load at that pressure. Well, how, do you, how do you figure out how much you should have in your tire? Well, your owner's manual will tell you what should be in your tire. Uh, should be a couple specifications. If you are riding by yourself, your pressure will be a bit lower. If you have a passenger on there and you're loaded up with all your stuff, heading off to Sturgis or wherever, uh, you'll have a little more pressure in your tires. When do you check your pressures? You should check them before you go for a ride. You know, another, another reason that uh, your tire pressure is pretty important 
As your, as your tire goes down the road uh, with the weight of your motorcycle on it, the, the part of your tread that's, that's touching the pavement actually flexes. And as your tire rolls off that point, it flexes back into shape. So it's really what it's doing, it's really bending. Now, when it's bending, just like anything else, when you bend it, it creates heat. And heat destroys things. If your pressure's low, one of the things that's gonna happen is you're gonna have more of that flexing taking place, so your tire's gonna be actually hotter and it's gonna wear out faster. So, you know, really, really important to make sure you have the proper pressure in your tires. After the break, Kick butt Mossport racing action. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. We have parts, accessories, and lots more for all makes of cruisers, V-Twin, and Metric. Canada's largest selection of helmets and clothing. Shop our website. Shop by phone or visit any one of our huge superstores. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Dragon Jeans, what biker TV rides in. Closed captioning by Hogtunes. Audio solutions for the great American cruiser. Mossport International Raceway. Fantastic weather, the crowds are coming in and we're just thrilled to be back here. No matter what you're into in motorcycling, you're going to like what you find here. I was 22 years old and I ride for the uh, Competition System Scout Soccer Team in the Parts Canada Street Bike Championship. I'm Amy Zoke with the Wozni Racing Cyclo Works BMC DeWilt Honda. I race the Amateur 600 Series and the Women's Cup. My husband, Jordan Zoke. Uh, we got married in February. We actually obviously met at the track. I'm Thomas Moore and I'm the crew chief of Ruthless Racing and we're working on that XR1200. Basically stock bikes with uh, suspension and exhaust put on them. That's not all you're going to be allowed to do. You're going to run stock belt drives, stock brakes, everything. And hopefully it'll bring some more people up into the sport. The AMA is trying it right now. And My name is Dave Stikowski. I'm a, a racer in the Parts Canada Pro Superbike Series. I'm from Calgary, Alberta. One of the uh, wonderful things I get to do is come to Mosport and watch the, the national races as well as some of the regional races. Alex is doing a good job. He's being extremely professional and uh, we're enjoying working with him. Pin it 
more. <laughs> yeah. More gas, less brake. It's family racing. So myself, uh, Bodhi's dad, Devin, Bodhi, and his little brother, we all raced minis. So um, I've, I've competed on, on the mini bikes um, with the kids, with the other adults. It's, it's a good, good training ground. We're here in the paddock in Mosport International for rounds four and five of the 2010 Parts Canada Superbike Championship. And what this is, is Canada's national road racing series. So that's pavement racing on closed courses. We travel as best we can across the country. And this is our biggest race of the season. So I guess you could say this is our Daytona. I'm very fortunate to, to have the opportunity that I have uh, to be able to race for Kawasaki. Um, you know, it's such a great manufacturer to work for, and uh, you know, like I said, I you know I train hard and I, and I take what I do very seriously. I'm here for the uh, the triple header for the CBR uh, challenge and uh, Bodhi. I'm here, we're doing the whole series on the CBR 600 RR. I'm Bodhi's stepmom, and I have a few specific jobs. You gotta know your job on the pit crew. I'm responsible for tire warmers and carrying stands, important jobs. <laughs> Like they say in Canada, man, I'm just going to give her, put the smile on my face, and just go out and have some fun. The thrill is just so much fun, and all the atmosphere, you're always with your friends all over the track, and it's just, it's just, everything's fun, you know, you'll have a great time. Stay tuned, after the break, Triple X Choppers. Dragon Jeans, the authentic motorcycle jeans. Biker TV rides safe in Dragon Jeans. Dragon Jeans, what's covering your butt? Advanced Welding Techniques. Training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Triple X Chopworks is a uh, custom motorcycle shop. We do repairs, custom fabrication, um, accessories, maintenance. We build uh, some custom motorcycles that you can see in the background. I started playing with them when I was uh, in my teens, and uh, when I got a little older and had some money, I started modifying my own bikes. I built my first custom motorcycle, which is sitting over here still, own it, and uh, that was finished in 94, and I never really looked back. I've probably done just over 100 motorcycles, customizing, add-ons, painting, in the last uh, four years, I started building my own.
started this project about um, two years ago. Uh, he changed his mind about 50 times on what he wanted done to it, so that's why it dragged on for two years. But it's a RC Components frame, Ultima Drive uh, train. Uh, I made the back fender out of blanks. Uh, the gas tank was modified here uh, to match the seat, so it all flows nice. I made the front fender. I made these handlebars here. These handlebars are quite unique. I got a lot of time in these. This is a twist clutch. There's no buttons, no handles, nothing. Internal throttle on this side, very clean. That's what the customer wanted. I'm a painter for 20, 25 years now. And there's numerous modifications and fabricating that I did on this bike that you can't even see. So. Well, this is an interesting project. This customer, uh, I did not know this, but he went to a few shops locally trying to get someone to help him out. Uh, they said, well, we can't do that. That's going to cost too much money. Gee, that's going to be hard. Um, he come to me and asked me if I could do this. And right away, I'm like, cool, neat, sure, let's do it. So he dropped it off. He's all excited. We're going to, uh, this is a Triumph, 1969 Triumph frame, 60s girder front end. This transmission, which is going to be a really unique, he wants it cut off the motor. We're gonna move it back. All this framework's gonna be gone. This is gonna be mounted up here. This oil tank will be sitting up here. I gotta completely fabricate the back of the frame right up to the neck. It's gonna have a seat with a, uh, like a leaf spring for his seat. I'm gonna make a custom gas tank totally by hand. It's gonna be really, really, really neat when it's done. I'm very excited about this project. very first bike I built uh, 16 years ago um, I had some bad luck a lady pulled in front of me uh, she didn't see me and I hit her head on luckily I was okay the bike landed on the grass I landed on the pavement I was okay with that the tail lights are her glasses lenses so that's my tail and my brake lights Mitch McCallum, he's an airbrush guy, does really good work. He did this 10 years ago. That's what I wanted, just a caricature of Lara Croft. So if I don't fix the bike, she's going to get mad at me, and you don't want that, eh? Uh, this is a... Um, 06 GSXR 1000 that uh, Kevin West owns and he decided to bling it out. He wanted to be a little different than everybody else on the planet. I want to keep growing as a, uh, a shop that will do what no one else will do. Um, metal fabrication, designing, stuff, one-off things that are so unique that you're not going to find them in a catalog anywhere. you got to come to me, I'll make it. If you have an idea in your head, throw it at me. Likely, I'll do it. After the break, more kick-butt Mossport racing action. Choose one of our existing audio kits or design your own. Hogtunes, audio solutions for the great American cruiser. It's the number one uh, training facility for motorcycle mechanics in Canada. The course here is amazing, the teachers are amazing. This is where it's at. Biker TV is proudly supported by Hip Cycle, expert Harley-Davidson service. Creative Chaos Tattoo, not for the weak of heart. SBB, Ontario's ultimate biker bar. Dynatunes, motorcycle tuning experts. 
MotorcycleInsurance.ca. We insure your passion. There's not a better job in the world than racing motorcycles, in my opinion. So, um, you know, I have a good, uh, I have uh, a good time racing, and uh, you know, I know I always have gonna have competitive machinery, uh, being on the team and stuff like that. So, you know, I always enjoy coming out, and it, it's great fun. I'm in great shape right now, and and I'm gonna, you know, I have a great team behind me, and the bikes are working really well. So. Um, you know, hopefully we can run up front and I think this track because it being so long and with, with the fast straightaway I think it's kind of a race where you got to be you got to have a strategy going in and I think you got to got to just You know you ride the race and get yourself in position for around the last two or three laps and then you kind of start making moves um, You know, you just you just want to be important and You want to make sure you know you, you're there with three laps to go and and to kind of get your position ready because anything could happen on the last lap Wild eyes, filled with desire, your wild eyes. The kids here are fantastic. We have a new support class that comes up, or I shouldn't say support class, but sort of the stepping stone into racing. A really affordable way to get, uh, to, to feed our series and to get the kids involved. And some of these kids that are coming out are as young as 11 years old, racing on the CBR 125Rs. These guys are out here. It started a couple years ago. The field was small. Now we're up to um, 30 of them on the grid. We have a couple media riders out there. It's a great event. Like I said, it's really affordable for these kids to get in and their families to get involved. It's not threatening in any way. Uh, and in, it's not intimidating for them. They can come in, get comfortable on a bike. And then what happens is they move up into the, uh, to the other classes. And right now we have uh, a one of our um, alumni from the CBR 125 who could possibly today take his championship home with him in the amateur 600 class. Yeah, the 125 is a really good learning bike for beginner riders to try to move up onto one of the bigger bikes like uh, we did with the 600. And you know, the 125 is a more of an inexpensive sport with the 125s are not very expensive so you can come out and learn how to ride kind of thing learn the race and the atmosphere around the racetrack and then you can move up and even it helps with your street riding too if you're a street rider you can help you with your uh, your uh, riding ability on the street and then you can move up to a bigger bike like a 600 like I have on the this past year My dad actually used to race motorcycles, so when I was little he got me a little 50 and I'd cruise around on that, and when I was 15 for my birthday he bought me a race school. So I went out for a session and promptly kicked his butt, so he retired and I kept racing. <laughs> uh, our whole family's here, mom, dad, cousins, brothers and family, we like to, friends we like to call family, so. Evil knows I fail. I find the faster you go, the calmer it is, which is good. The only time that uh, really we're getting any hairy situations is kind of when you slow down or kind of stop to think, really. Sometimes it's, uh, it's good to put the, the brain on fast forward, and it, and it tends to all work out a little bit better. What's your dream? I just want to go fast. <laughs> well, Pirelli's involvement in the uh, Parts Canada Superbike Championship is related to, uh, let's just say, some issues they had in the past where um, maybe all the riders weren't getting the same level of support. And when I say level of support, that means technical support and also product support from the various tire manufacturers. So Pirelli made an offer to come in and provide uh, good technical service, have all the different tires available, and have the same tires available to all the different riders, which means nobody has any special tires, it's any stickier 
or has some kind of advantage over another guy. It's always a big deal here. A lot of people come out here, have a good time. It's nice to have good weather. Uh, it's one of the best venues we have on our Canadian series. So, uh, you know, everybody puts in that extra effort to, to do well here. KXR 750, the flat tracker that we, everybody used to use. And then they used to ro road race with it as well back in the 70s. So, hoping to bring some of that nostalgia to the track too. Yeah, if you have, um, if everybody's on the same type of bike, it makes it some really good racing because it's how good the rider is, as opposed to everybody's got some special thing on their bike. Everything's stock. Next week on Biker TV, more Parts Canada Superbike Series. And Tech Tips with Wally. -E. Special thanks to Biker Coffee, made by bikers for bikers. The Motorcycle Ride for Dad. Fighting prostate cancer, Canada-wide. Royal Distributing. Check out the new store in Whitby, Ontario. Well, baby, she's in love with a man.